Near the start of the course when we were looking at working with strings, we came across the replace function, which as the name suggests will find some values within a string and replace them with whatever you pass in. But there's often a need to remove values or replace values based on a pattern rather than a literal string. So if we wanted to remove the number in the text variable, the replace will fail if the number in the string changes somewhat. So a better way would be to tell JavaScript to remove any numbers that are in the text variable. And we can do this by using a pattern matching system known as regular expressions. And regular expressions are something which could do with a whole course of its own to fully understand. This lesson will just give you a brief introduction to what they are and how you might use them within your code. So within our replace function, instead of passing in the literal string of 123123, we're going to use a regular expression. And you define a regular expression with two forward slashes, and the contents of the expression itself goes inside of those. So here you can see we're matching the pattern of 1, 2, 3. And because the number 4 doesn't fit within this pattern, the regular expression stops working and no more values are removed. We can ask the replace function to check everywhere within our string for the pattern of 1, 2, 3 by passing in a modifier after the second forward slash, which is g for global. But of course, if we were trying to get rid of all numbers from the string, then we'd want to pass in a 4 as well, but that actually presents us with a problem. Because this pattern of 1, 2, 3, 4 matches the first four digits within the number, but then the pattern fails for 1, 2, 3 because we don't get a complete match. And of course it's not much better than what we had in the first instance of just passing in that literal string for the replace function to find and then remove. So regular expressions provides us with a way of just matching individual digits and numbers. And we do that with something called a character class, which is the square brackets that we have and then a range of numbers. So our pattern is to match any number between 0 and 9 and then remove it, and of course because we have it set as a global search, it finds all of the numbers in the string and removes them. So we can do a similar thing with letters as well if we want to remove them. So here you can see we're left with the remaining numbers that haven't matched the pattern of being a character in the range of A to Z. Another thing we can do is match spaces within our string. So a backslash followed by an S means match any white space within the string. And you can see the space in the centre of the string is then removed. So that's really useful if you just want to remove any white space within the string itself. So if we were to put some more space at the front, or even in the middle, and at the end, you can see no matter where it is, all of that space gets chopped out of the text variable. So those are just a few simple patterns and some examples of when you might use a regular expression to remove parts of a string. There are of course lots of other examples where you can use regular expressions, like checking a user has entered a valid email address, but those expressions are much much more complicated than what we've seen here. So there are lots of great resources online for learning regular expressions, and I'll put a few links in the description below if you want to take it further to find out more about pattern matching.